it's time to join the ultimate adventure with D&D and Nerds Candy. When you find Nerds Candy on store shelves right now and purchase them, you will unlock one of seven adventures. And let's take a look at some of the highlights that you will find playing the Green Bard. This evening, you yourself are actually relaxing in your favorite seat in a tavern as a fastidious looking strange fellow wearing a suit with horn rimmed glasses approaches you. Hello, uh, my name is Mr. Honeycutt. Uh, mm. I, I assume that you are uh, green. Um, hold, I, hold, hold, please. Uh, okay, sorry, I was finishing a song in my mind. Continue. Oh, you have a beautiful voice. Uh, oh, thank you. Uh, so, well, I was hoping, uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, the color seems to be getting leached out of the very world itself. Um, yeah, it's a little sad. We at the Law Keeper uh, Society, which I am a part of, uh, are, are, are looking for adventurers to kind of take on this issue, to take on this problem. And I've, I've done a bit of research. There are a series of gems that may stop whatever calamity is about to face everyone in harmony. It's, and uh, we specifically want you to try to find the Emerald Gem. I'm just trying to see if I can fit it in my schedule. Okay. Okay. One o'clock, I have a meeting with with another person. Yeah, I probably can do it. I probably can switch some things around. Uh, uh, it does pay tw 20 gold pieces. Um, oh, I like gold. Okay. 25. Uh, I can do 25. Yes. Mm. Hey, you have to tip your artist. Okay, that's fair. Well, there, I, I know that you know of the Circus of Illusions that's in the center of town. We believe a thief has stolen this particular emerald gem and has it there. We need you to find this emerald gem and bring it back to me here at this tavern. Um, and also, uh, well, here's a potion of healing. Not that you'll need it. Probably oh, not dangerous. That's great. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah. And uh, watch out for the clowns. As you get closer to the big top tent, uh, for the Circus of Illusions, you see this massive tent. You see uh, people selling tickets, and you also see very rough clowns. So we're in the circus, but is there like a big top in the circus? Uh, yeah, you are in the circus, and, and there is a big top. There's several tents as well, and okay. you do see uh, the main ring, and you, you do see... Uh, a, a woman up there. He's going to walk over uh, towards her if she's not super, super busy and go. You know, I've only been in here once, but I don't think I remember everything. It was too dark. That looks dangerous. Can I join? Oh, you're a bard. You, 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 you you're a bard, right? You're a uh -huh. performer. That's what I do. Oh, you're the answer to my desperate preparatory now. We actually have no... No act after the green flame axe throwers. Uh, uh, would you would you perhaps uh, like to take the stage? Uh, because otherwise we're going to have some very upset people. Um, sure, yeah. I, I, I'm kind of looking for information right now. Well, okay, what's the uh, what's the information? Um, uh, have you seen? A, I don't know, like a, a gem of some sorts that, you know, the coloring, though there's not much left right now, kind of, you know, resembles, has the same vibe as, you know, green. I'm, uh, no, uh, I'm afraid not. I've not heard of such a thing. Um, I apologize. There's Why is a this thing important? possibility somebody might have come in here with that. And I don't know if you might have seen anything, known anything. You do look like, you know, the leader of this place. Ah, uh, well, sadly, no. I mean, the real leader is uh, Magnifico, uh, the magician, but uh, I don't know. It seems off lately. That's the only thing that seems weird. I, I know he has like a pet rat, and uh, I really don't like that rat. The rat is always, always staring at me. Oh, 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 the, the, the green flame axe people are almost done. Can you, mm -hmm. can, would you mind taking the stage? I can. Um, yeah, sure. Mm hmm. Hi. I'm Green, Green the Bard, and today I'll sing a song for you and do a little bit of, uh, you know, extra stuff. Uh, and they pull off their their lute um, and they kind of strum it like in the, like a, like an electric guitar. And as they do, there's music notes that kind of shot uh, that float everywhere as he casts Press the Digitation, and they just kind of float around him for a moment. Uh, and he goes, 
Hi there, I'm the bard. Let's rock this joint. Let's stomp the yard. Magic and wonder, I'll sing to you. Now join me here. Come see what I can do. Dun, 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 dun. And he just starts playing uh, and he's, he gets into it. But as he's playing, he's definitely looking around to see if anybody is like concerned or anybody looks fishy. By the popcorn stand, you see on top of a pole, a rat with beady red eyes and its paws like this, standing up just. And it's hard to read a rat, but this rat seems jealous. Mm? And then you see it scurry away to a tent. And, and he'll go, if you ever need me any, uh, at any other point, and he like reaches into his little bag and like tosses a card towards the uh, ringleader. You know where to find me. And I'm going to book it to where that rat went. Okay, you uh, you book it toward the where the rat went, and you you come upon uh, a tent, and it is clearly labeled as Magnifico's tent, and there are two unshaven clowns picking their teeth with broken chicken bones outside. They look very rough. I'm gonna like tap his shoulder and go, "Hey, friend, I'm casting charm person." <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, he needs to make a wisdom saving throw, please. <laughs> That's a fail. <laughs> yes! Hair <laughs> charmed. And I'll say, look, I know that, you know, life can be uh, a little rough. The color's fading from this world. You need a little pick-me-up. You should go find your own color. Mm. You know what? He's right. We don't need to be guards. We should be performing with all the rest of the clowns. Or we should at least be like, you know, walking around. Like, I can't just be standing all day. These two unshaven clowns start trying to like entertain people. And it's kind of like they make a kid cry. <laughs> and they like move on. <laughs> Not everyone's meant for show business. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, uh, you they 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 leave the tent unguarded, and the minute they get away and out of line of sight, you now go inside the tent. And you walk in and you do see a rat, uh, just sitting there at the table, uh, per, uh not pretending, but like it, the rat seems like it's like ooh, cheese. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Then I will pretend as well not to really notice them and i'll go oh wow this is a really cool place i like this top hat i wonder what it's made from hey you and i'll like jump at the rat you <laughs> immediately catch the rat off guard and it pops into a poof of smoke and turns into imp what what are you doing in my what are you doing well it's not my tent what are you doing in the tent and why are you uh performing on the circus and drawing so much attention to yourself. One, that's too many questions. Two, why are you an imp and not a rat? Three, I was hired. You know things that happen when you're good. Anywho, where's mass mag 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 magnet mag magnifico? Magnifico, I uh, he's probably doing some silly magic somewhere. I don't, you know, we'll pretend magic. I'm the real deal. That's why I'm in all his things now. I can make you. Famous like Magnifico, though. Is there something you want? Maybe we can make a deal. I'm looking for this. I'm looking the for the Emerald Gem. Emerald Gem, yeah. You're looking for the Emerald Gem. I can get you the Emerald Gem, but you got to do something for me. All right. How about this? Your performance was very good. Mm. What if I become your familiar? You can be my familiar. Perfect. And you let me know where this emerald is. Ah, look behind you, and your answer is before you. And directly behind you is a mirror. Oh, it's okay. It's just a, it's a little tiny demi plane. You just reach your hand in the, the emeralds inside there. I will take the emerald. Mm. It was a deal. Oh. Yeah, a deal's a deal, that's fine. Hey, the good thing about deals is, um, never mind, you don't need to know all that. Okay, look, I got an emerald and I got a familiar. So technically I didn't win, I didn't lose anything. There you go. All right, and he like crawls up onto your, your shoulder. Oh God, we, oh, 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 oh no. We, okay. we, we ready to go? 
Uh, I have to turn this in first. Um, so, you know, to save the world or at least this hard place, this harmony. Uh, then, yeah, we'll, we'll have fun after that. Maybe. Okay, well, this feels like the beginning of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> you know what? It does. Uh, you leave the circus and you start, you head to the tavern and you see, again, the fastidious uh, Mr. Honeycutt. Oh, 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 I'm so glad you made it. Did you, I hope you weren't hurt by the clowns. No, no, have... no, no. The clowns and I are cool. We're tight. Do you have the emerald gem? <laughs> <gasps> oh, thank heavens. Yes. Now we may perhaps begin to save uh our land of harmony at last. Thank you so much. Here, here's your gold and uh, 30 gold, right? Yes, 30 gold. I, th- I think that's what we agreed to. Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, I'll double check that. All right, but I might have another adventure for you after all. And that is our adventure.